Minecraft, casual gaming. That's kind of what today will be. It's going to be another episode of Exploration and Tactics with Brian. And in today's episode, I want to go caving. I used up a lot of resources trying to fight the wither, and so I wanted to just go gather some more resources. But I thought I'd try to make it kind of like a challenge or a little bit interesting for myself. And so it was basically trying to do a speed caving run. How many resources can I gather in 30 minutes? And I'm going to use night vision potions and speed potions in order to make it fast and fun. And yeah, I get a fair number of resources, so let's go ahead. Oh, and I find something else unexpected. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back to Exploration and Tactics. I'm over at the house in the extreme hills, and I forgot that I had all these resources here. That's actually really outstanding. I'm going to take some of this iron with me. Basically, today I wanted to go caving in extreme hills in a new location, and I was going to give myself a little bit of kind of a challenge to go with it. Um, but first off, I want to get somewhere. I've already lit up a bit of the caves around here, and so I'm just going to kind of go running off in some other direction that'll be kind of far away from the caves that I've already lit up, but it'll still be in extreme hills because I'm hoping to get some more emerald ore blocks that I can mine with silk touch because they're pretty and they're nice and they're rare and Brian likes rare stuff and I was in the mood to go caving. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just end up somewhere out over here. But basically what I want to try to do is I'm going to find a place to kind of sleep at night and set my spawn. I can see under the world over here through a chunk error, and I can see that I've lit up. Wow, I've lit up a lot over there, actually. I didn't realize I've lit up all of that. So I think I'll have to make a right turn. In any case, the idea that I have... Oh, there's no easy way to get over here. The idea that I have is I want to see how much resources I can get in, like... 30 minutes or something. I don't know exactly how long I'll do it. Um, but I have night vision potions, which I think will be a real asset because they'll allow me to... I won't have to spend the entire time kind of lighting up all the areas that I'm going to explore. I can just kind of light it up, you know, just enough to, like, cut down the mob spawns, but then kind of run around with night vision. Yeah, and I've got four eight-minute potions, and so I guess, yeah, probably, like, around 30 minutes is what we'll aim for because then the night vision potions will run out. But we're in extreme hills over here. We're somewhere, kind of who knows where. Let's find a good cave entrance. Is this a cave entrance? Whoa! That'll go down deep into the earth, it looks like. And so I am going to... I'll put a little bit of light kind of right around here. And I have a bed. And so I'm going to plop down the bed and sleep at night. Uh, mostly so that I have a spawn point over here in case things go south. But I am still wearing the protection one iron armor that i had as kind of like my backup iron armor uh actually i've got aqua affinity okay protection projectile protection um yeah and so i'm pretty well armored more well armored than i'm accustomed to being anyway and so i've got blocks on my bar i'm gonna drink a speed potion uh and then probably a night vision potion to get things started and I'm also going to use the timer so we know just how long it's kind of going. And yeah. All right, let me get the timer ready. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drink my first speed potion and night vision potion. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, nutritious. And then I'm going to go start my timer. One second. Zero minutes. All right, and in Windows 8, the voice speech thing or whatever, like, has a new kind of default voice. And I'll try to remember... Oh, this cave doesn't go anywhere. That's a bad start. Oh, dear. I need to get out of here quickly, because now the timer is running. But yeah, we're going to see... I'm going to try to do kind of like ski speed caving, but speed caving with a purpose. I want to see how many, you know, diamonds and emeralds and all kinds of things I can find. But we're already off to a bad start because that cave went nowhere and I need to find a cave entrance. I hear a spider, which suggests that there is a cave somewhere right around below me. Does this go anywhere? No. I like the fact that night vision lets you see underwater better. So I just dig down to where I heard the spider. I don't know what to do. Crap, I'm already wasting time. This is awful. Um, all right, let's look. It looks like there's a cave entrance over here. So let's try to get over here. But yeah, I was just in the mood to do some caving, 
And at the same time, I thought that my resources were more depleted than they are, because as we just saw over at the kind of mountain house in the extreme hills, I actually have a fair amount of resources that I've just completely forgotten about. Please tell me this is going to be a cave entrance. And so, yeah, I wanted to get some more resources. Caving is also something I just enjoy. This is not a cave entrance. Um, and so, yeah, I thought I would make kind of a race of it to see how many resources I could gather. All right, I've, I've explained it well enough. Now we actually just need to get the caving actually started. It's always extremely dangerous just to, like, go digging randomly for a cave. I guess I should have gone wherever I heard that spider. I have a speed potion, and so... Surely if I run around, I'll find a cave entrance. And I could be able to see one on the bottom of the ocean, too, or if there was a ravine or something. Hello, caves! Where are you? We're two minutes in, and I haven't even gotten into a cave. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna go for 30 minutes, and I'm not gonna get any resources at all. Um, this is ridiculous. All right, I hear a skeleton. Where did I hear him? All right, I hear him somewhere over here, and so I'm just going to dig. And even if this is above ground, hope that it gets me into a cave system that will then go below ground, because below ground will have the resources that I want. And I can just barely hear the skeleton. And now I can't hear him anymore. This is awful. This is like the worst idea ever. How did I not start at a cave? It looks so promising. Three minutes. All right, we are three minutes in, and I haven't even gotten underground yet. Awful, awful, awful. So how did you guys enjoy the 1.4 spoiler-free stuff? I hope you enjoyed it. It was totally fun to play. It was definitely hard to go for as long as I did. Here we go. All right, now we're getting underground. We'll find some bad guys to fight. We'll find some resources. But yeah, it all turned out fun. The wither battle completely surprised me. Uh, I didn't know... Oh, there's a bat. Hello, bat. What to expect. Um, but it was tons of fun. All right, there's coal and iron. I'm more... What, what level am I down to? Yeah, I'm already down to level 31. I'm more interested in trying to get, like, the good resources. I have plenty of iron. I would like to get, like, more diamonds and emeralds and all that kind of stuff. I guess emeralds I could find at any level. Ooh, an abandoned mine shaft. Oh, that was a chunk error. Hello, creeper. So, yeah, the spoiler-free stuff, it was a lot of fun. And, yeah, for the most part, I I've mentioned it a couple times, but you guys did a good job of... I guess I will need a little coal. I did start myself out with a little bit of coal. And I have a silk touch pick for kind of mining up all the good resources that I find. And I have a few iron picks, uh, as well as finally a diamond pick in reserve that's unbreaking. And so hopefully I'll be able to do some good mining with that. All right, that'll be enough of that. And I don't need to put torches everywhere, but I want to put just a little bit of torches that'll kind of cut down on spawns if I come back through here and get more iron and things out of it later. So yeah, the spoiler-free stuff was a lot of fun. Um, it's been a long time now since we played, but doing Uncharted Territory with Screen Rave was also a lot of fun. Ooh, I see an emerald. Gosh, these night vision potions are pretty awesome. Can I jump down into that? I'm not sure. Ooh, why do I not have my water bucket on my bar? It's because I drank potions, and then I forgot to replace the water bucket. Let's do that, and then hop down here. And let's go get me my first emerald. Boom noodle. All right, we will silk touch that bad boy. All right. And then this goes down even deeper. I see some gold over here, and I want that. I don't need any kind of special pick for that. There's a bit of gold over here. Let's try to be careful not to fall into a fire. I've got a fire resist potion on the bar. Oop. What? 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 Is there another stronghold over here, or is that just a random silverfish block? Fires us! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to need to use that that quickly. Um. Six minutes. 
Thank you, audio timer. Six minutes, silverfish. So either A, silverfish now spawn randomly in the world. Actually, that's a silverfish. That's a silverfish. That's a silverfish. There's like a whole block of silverfish over here. Or B, that's a new thing in Minecraft. Um, oh, wow. If that's a new... If silverfish just spawn anywhere... Like, so I've just started catching up on some of Etho's videos uh, where he was trying to work on the silverfish farm, which is something that I have also... I want to do because silverfish are just awesome. But if silverfish just spawn anywhere, I wonder what the rules are. I'm just presuming... Yeah, I've never seen... Even in a stronghold, I've never seen this many silverfish blocks, like, all that close together. That must have changed in 1.4. I'm sure you guys will tell me. Let's go ahead and drink some more potions here. All right, more night vision. Oh, crap, I just heard a spider. I was like, what is that sound? Is that the right potion? Yes. All right, get some more speed. I'm going to swap out my iron picks. Um, and we're already like seven minutes into this and I've hardly gotten anything, but I did find something new that I wasn't expecting to find. Um, and so that is pretty super exciting. Can I just do this now? Yeah, there we go. All right, so that'll get rid of the hazard of that. I'll put a torch here and then I believe there is something up here and there's a spider who's probably gonna knock me off. There he is. Hello, Mr. Spider. And we can continue exploring this way because I think there's more up here. Oh, and there's a creeper up there who's going to, like, see me and kamikaze off the ledge, because they do that now. All right. Let's continue. What level am I at? Uh, 22. All right, we could find some good resources down here. Um, whoa, there's a bunch of endermen in here. There's a bat up there. Let's not look at the endermen. Creeper has already spied me. So let's go ahead and get rid of him, even though he seems to be taking the long route over this way. Hello, endermen. I'm going to not look at you. I do still have a Power 1 bow as well, which is something else I'm not accustomed to carrying around on me. What was I going to do? I was going to create some more torches. Because even if I don't light the whole thing up, I would like to light a little bit of it up. And I need another fire resist on my bar in case this one runs out and I get pushed by silverfish or spiders or whatnot into a lava stream again. All right, gold and emeralds. Great. Emerald. I hear a spider. He must be tracking the above or below. I like the new spider noises, as I think I've mentioned a few times. I think they found very both spidery as well as the sound of all the little legs. Nine or, minutes. I guess they're pretty big legs. Nine minutes already, and I've hardly gotten any resources. Um, hey, there's another emerald. Yes, night vision is going to be super duper awesome. I bet you the zombie is like trying to pathfind me. He's going to pathfind back over here. There's a lot of dangers around. Oh, that's just experience. Um, here's another zombie. Oops. And there's the spider. Okay. Now I feel like I know where the enemies are. And without... No oh! This zombie is holding a potato. Where did the potato come from? Actually, I think I heard someone say that zombies might have potatoes as rare drops. And so perhaps one of the zombies dropped a potato as a rare drop. Oh, crap! My sword is not that good. Um, there's a lot of creepers over here. I still have fire resist, so I'm not too scared of falling in the lava over here. All right, there we go. And we'll put a torch over here and over here. Um, yeah, there's still a spider somewhere. So I guess the zombie dropped a potato as a rare drop, and then another zombie picked it up? Or maybe he just carries, like, maybe he spawns carrying a potato? Uh, oh, there's some more gold over here. Let's get that. Hello, spider. I finally found you. I thought you were above me, but it turns out you were below me. And now you're about to be dead to me. You were dead, sir. All right, let's make sure that gold does not fall in the lava. Um, yeah, but apparently that's another way now that you can get potatoes. Um, which is super cool. So you get it either from finding it in a village, where the villagers have already planted it, or apparently also as a rare drop. And... Oh, right, I have speed. Right. Oh, that's super fun. Alright, let's hop around here. Here's some redstone. Great. 
I've actually gone through a fair amount of redstone, both when I was building kind of the contraptions. I don't know if you call it a contraption, but like drop the anvil in the nether, nether, in the wither fight. Um, if you haven't seen my wither fight, definitely check it out. It was super fun. I tried lots of things, most of which did not work well. Um, I used, yeah, a bit of redstone in that as well as, you're kidding me, is my, I do not need string. All right, and I can stack torches, and now I'm picking up the string again. And at some point, we will put some of these good resource blocks in the ender chests, because that's what we do periodically to make sure they stay safe. Uh, maybe at 15 minutes, I'll do that, like halfway through my 30 minutes of crazy caving. Um, what was I saying? Oh, hello. I was saying, don't get killed by a creeper. No, that's not what I was saying. Why would I say that? Um, all right. It's 12 interesting. Minutes. Oh, there's more emerald. This night vision is awesome. I'm going to, like, see everything now. Oh, I hear a slime. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. I was talking about how you can get potatoes from zombies. I was talking about the wither battle. Oh, the redstone. And then I used it to extend lots of potions as well. Uh, and so, including, like, all the potions that I am carrying on my person right now. Extended potions of fire resistance and night vision and speed. And so over time it starts to add up, although, as we saw back over at the mountain base, I actually have, like, stacks more redstone. But I also want to start building some automated farms, I think. Because I can use nether portals or end portals. Uh, my understanding is I can use those things. Let's try to make sure that this gold doesn't go in the in the lava. There we go. Like a boss. Hooray. Um, I can use redstone to build kind of automated farms that just continually pump out, you know, wheat or sugar cane or, or whatever. Oops, there's redstone over here. And then just have it go flow over into a nether portal. And then until I actually enter the nether, like, it can just keep accumulating and accumulating and accumulating, and then I can go pick up all the items, I think. I'm not sure if you, like, risk, like, crashing the game if you do that. Probably somehow. Um, but it seems like a, an effective way that you could farm. I haven't been placing torches very often. Although we're down to the lava light. Well, I'm kind of putting out all the lava, though. That would be giving off some light. Uh, oops, I was just about to say, I wonder how my potions are doing. I think now I know the answer to that. Um, all right, speed is still going. Night vision, I drank these together. I'm really convinced that the potion time lengths do not really work properly. Um, yeah, because I've been in an uh, ultra hardcore match where we got like the notch apple and like I had a few seconds of fire resistance and it ran. Ah, diamonds. Hello, diamonds. Let's double check. All right, great, that they're not going to fall in any lava. There could be lava behind them. I'll take a risk. Woohoo! Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I'm standing in a pile of diamonds that I can't pick up because I'm holding too much crap, such as zombie flesh. Out, out, darn zombie flesh. All right, super cool. Looks like that is a dead end. Oh, there's more redstone on the ground over here. Ray. And yes, the diamonds make me happy because I use 20... 15 minutes. 15 minutes. All right, so this would be a good time for me to set down the ender chest, which is mostly empty, and put away the valuables, as well as I can put away another stack of cobble that won't clutter things up too badly. Um, yeah, that's good enough for right now. I'll pick that back up. And continue on for another 15 minutes and see just how many resources we can get. So yeah, I would like to do automated farms. Yeah, unfortunately, like, I don't want to get into any big building projects right now because, as I've mentioned a few times, I'm about to go on vacation. Oh, crap! Yikes! All right. That was scary. I never kind of saw him coming. Oh, wow, two emeralds right together. You see this? One emerald. Two emerald. I hear a zombie. Hooray, hooray. 
It's definitely, I know that it's like dark around here and I'm not probably spawning lots of mobs over here. Yeah, I don't want to get too caught up in like new, any big build projects simply because this will be one of my last videos. I'm actually probably going to space out these last few videos over the next few days. So that, sorry bat, I just see you and flying around and I want to kill you because I like killing everything. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm probably going to space out the videos a little bit over the last few days so that I have some videos kind of for the start of my vacation. But yeah, I expect there won't be Minecraft videos for a while. Alright, I missed him. See some lava down here that we'll put out since I don't have fire resist on right now. Got some lava over here. Hello, skeleton, who seems to be trapped behind the lava or didn't see me or I don't know what. Iron, iron, iron. I have enough iron even if I wanted to create 10 more anvils. Here we go, redstone. That's good stuff. Yeah, and so, like I said, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I'm gonna be going on vacation for like more than three weeks probably. I don't even have a return t trip ticket yet. But I think the likely thing is I will be away and away from the computer and unable to play Minecraft for kind of three to four weeks. And then around the beginning of December, I will be back, probably, is the most likely outcome. I think I just picked up some smooth stone. Did a bat just... That sounded like a bat death sound, I think. And so I wonder if he just, like, flew into lava, or what could have randomly killed a bat that is not me. I don't know. Um, let's check out down here and see if we see any more diamonds. Hello, skeleton. I'm carrying a power one bow, and you were dead in two shots. Hello, bat. I will leave you alive. 18 Although, minutes. If you keep flying in front of me... So that's an interesting thing about the bats, is, like, they can, like, get in your way, and, like, you're about to shoot a skeleton, and instead you shoot the bat or something, and so... In some sense, they might be a nuisance like that. I suppose the opposite might occur as well, which is that the skeleton might be about to shoot you, and then a bat could very heroically dive in front of the skeleton... Uh, and save you from a skeleton arrow or something like that. And so I guess it cuts both ways. Um, hello! Alright, we're finding lots of emeralds, so that makes me happy. Because I like rare treasures. Um, yeah, the void fog is doing interesting things down here. So yeah, by the same time, I still haven't recorded any real-life videos, but I think I'm at least going to try to sit down in front of the camera tonight and see if I can record one, because I figure if I can't do any Minecraft videos while I'm on vacation, it would be cool if I could just do, even if just some short, like, real-life vacation videos or something. Uh, just because I figure, like, <laughs> to try to not have everyone unsubscribe from me when I don't put out a video for a month, it'd be nice to have some content. Um, yeah. So, and I've been talking about doing real-life videos for forever, and so I should just get over it and do it. Um, and then you all can see my face, and you'll be like, Hey, that's not what I thought Brian looked like, because nobody ever looks like what their voice is or something. That's how I feel anyway. I remember the first time I saw Kurt Gleason, Gleason of the KGBs, also did a real-life video... Uh, where I got to see his face for the first time, and Schism has already done real-life videos, so I guess I'll be... I'm like the last of the KGBs to get on board the real-life video train. Is this going? Yeah, that's gonna be... let's do some of that. Actually, let's do this. There we go. All right, I think now maybe these will be safe. Hooray! For redstone ore. And how are we doing on the time? We're still at like 20 minutes. We're only two-thirds of the way through my half hour. My potions of night vision and whatnot are still going. All right, looks like I've lit that up. I see a torch over here. I might need to like move to a different area now, and I still need to worry about mobs falling on my head from who knows where. I hear the zombies in the footsteps, but I don't see them yet. I see... Oh, there he is! <laughs> Wow, you surprised me. Like, a lot. Hey, I'm up to level 20. That's the other thing that I want to do, is I want to get up to level 30. Um, you're going to laugh at me. I want to get up to level 30 so I can try to... Oops, whoa. Wow. 
It gets dark all of a sudden when those potions go out. 21 minutes. 21 minutes. All right, I'll go ahead and drink the last of my... Night vision potions. And I don't have any speed, and so we'll go ahead and we'll drink a speed potion as well. Because those are fun. Oops. Just screwed up my mouse pad here. Hold on. There we go. So yeah, I was saying, basically, I'm kind of like the last of the KGBs to do a real-life video. There's another emerald in a precarious location, and I saw a creeper around the corner. So for those of you saying, Brian, Brian, don't forget to see the creeper. I did. I saw him. He's right there. He maybe sees me, but I guess there's a chasm between him and me, uh, which is bad news for him because I have a bow and arrow, and he does not. And so you can guess who's going to win that battle. I'll give you a clue. It's me. I'll give you another clue. It already happened on screen like 10 seconds ago, and so I don't know why I'm still commentating it. Um, yeah, so if I ever do a real-life video, then you'll finally get a chance to know... Oops! Whoa! Alright, I do not want to fall into the ravine. Hello, shopping cart. And I need to remember that it is completely dark in here, pretty much. Alright, let's just do that. Alright, and that... Alright. So, do I see... I see a chest. Do I see any uh, spider spawners? I don't right now. There are some torches from the abandoned mine shaft, although they might be glitched out and not be giving off the light. And so let's be worried that monsters could be spawning anywhere. The gold I will take. Uh, the coal I will take. The rest of it I really don't need. Um, and I see another emerald. Hooray! And I see an enderman down there. And I hear a skeleton sneaking up on me somewhere. There he is. Hey, Skelly. He seemed like he was kind of like walking with a purpose. I don't know if he spied me from somewhere else and then was pathfinding to me. Like, it seemed like he just walked immediately over in my direction. Oops. I got stuck in a block there. That's for the most part, like, I have had that happen once or twice, but uh, to Mo Yang's credit, it does seem like they've fixed a lot of these kind of like glitchy... Oh, I see diamonds down there. We are going right down there. Um... I see a zombie down there. I'm not sure what other badness might be down here. But, oh wow, the zombie just like kamikaze right on down. That's pretty cool, actually. And he is trying to pathfind me, I guess. Is he going to climb up on top of this? Where'd he go? I hear an enderman. I hear all kinds of things. Um, all right, let's do this. That'll give him a path. And so now we should walk back over here, probably. Hey, zombie. Did you lose me? I'm right here. All right, let's add just a couple of torches around here. 24 Actually, minutes. there's a lot of lava light. If stuff falls on my head, it falls on my head. Let's try not to worry about it too much. Well, I'm saying there's a lot of lava light around here, and then I'm putting it all out. But let's grab my diamonds. Hello, diamonds. Hello, what do you call it? Redstone. And what did that just say? 24 minutes. And so, still got a few minutes to try to rake in a few more resources. Uh, I seem to be at carrying capacity once again. Let's get rid of that. Um, and then I kind of have a stack for everything, and so I think I'll be okay in terms of this. And while my night vision lasts, it should last almost until the end of my 30 minutes. See some redstone over here. This will give me good practice also of being at the bottom of a ravine to get a sense of just how many random monsters like decide to fall on your head out of nowhere. Um, and so we'll just kind of not worry too much about it and then see who falls on our head. Ooh, there's an emerald. Hello, emerald. I'm coming to save you. Because I know you need saving. You look like you're scared of heights, and you're just, like, barely perched up here. Hooray! Brian, save the emerald. From the horrible fate of being stuck in a wall. Um... I don't know that I see any other good resources. And we've only got a little bit of night vision left. I still have... Alright, there's some redstone down there. I'm not going to try to dig through the water for one redstone block. Um, got some iron. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else this way in the ravine. So let's try going the other way. I think I still have speed. Whoa! And so if I can get onto some flat ground. Like over here. Oh, there's another zombie. I'm not sure where you came from. I guess you fell down from somewhere. No, you still have all your hit points. I guess you didn't fall down. 
Oh, he might have just spawned here because I haven't added any light. Um, let's not fall in the water. Or, water's okay. Let's not fall in the lava. How's that? I see redstone. Let's see if we can find any more diamonds, possibly. Let's also see if I can cut off this water. There we go. But yeah, overall, this seems like this... This was kind of fun. Not sure exactly what I expected out of this caving mission, but I like the idea of kind of trying to do it a little bit as a race and see how quickly I can get a bunch of resources. I see gold over there. And yeah, and I also, I enjoy being able to kind of like count and quantify things or whatever. And so now I'll have one benchmark after this whole caving mission of how many resources I can get in half an hour. Oops. Might have just lost some gold there. Might have just lost a lot of gold there. That's a bummer. That was 27 minutes. Dumb of me. Um, and yeah, I went through a lot of gold. I went through 72 gold just to get that notch apple to fight the wither. Uh, totally worth it because that was pretty much the thing that won it for me, I think. Um, but still, that's, that's a lot of gold to have to eat, eat it once. Um, yeah, but I like the idea of having, you know, a benchmark of how much resources I can find in a certain amount of time. So then, again, if at some point I come back in the future and I can try to do the same kind of thing. Um, and hello, other emerald block. Emerald blocks, like, they only come in patches of one. But they seem like they're not, they're not exceedingly rare. Uh, and so I like that because they're rare enough to make them feel precious, but at the same time plentiful enough that you can do one of these challenges. Okay. My night vision just ran out, and that was my last night vision potion. And I see some bad guys over here. How about I craft up some more sticks? Yeah, we're at 28 minutes. Yeah, so I had four night vision potions that should last 32 minutes. And they did not last that long. So it's definitely the case that the potion times are bugged. Uh, because I have my external timer that says I've only been doing this for 28 minutes. Uh, and meanwhile, I've gone through more than four night vision potions. Um, and so it's definitely the case that we're eight minutes apiece, which would have been 32 minutes. And so it's definitely the case that potions, like the timers, go too fast. So fix your game, Jeb. Um, but I can say that relatively happily because, as I mentioned, they have fixed a number of bugs. Um, and overall, 1.4 has turned out kind of better than I thought it was going to. And so that makes me happy. And we're going to be coming up on our 30-minute external timer, and so I'm going to start trying to go back up to the surface. Oop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And also, not die in a fire. Um, because those are key things. Wow. Of course, it's a mine shaft. I don't know if that's my own torch. Probably not, because I haven't been this high up. I hear... Oops. That's what I thought. Crazy lava. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to be in the water regardless. All right, there we go. Oh, this was where I was. This is where the skeleton jumped me, and I said he was walking with a purpose. All right, let's continue. I do not have an efficient pick, so I can't just use it as a uh, axe on wood. Um, is this like another ravine opening? I guess it kind of is, or maybe it's the same one. Uh, I just want to try to find a way out of here because, yeah, my 30 minutes is just about to be up. And so we'll get back up to the surface, we'll get ourselves to safety, and then we'll kind of count the spoils and see how much stuff I got, kind of all told. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay, great. And so I'm not going to mine up any more precious ores. Yeah, I'll make a cut here. I'm going to go ahead and dig myself back up to the surface, um, and then we'll see what the final count is. All right, I found my way back up to the surface. It's the middle of the night. That'll just make things exciting, right? I hear a spider. And so presumably he will find me. But since I'm in a hole, he won't be able to get me. Ha ha! Ooh, wow. And by the surface, I mean way up here. All right, and I know I need to go uh, north and west. That is the way back home, I'm pretty sure. And, thanks to Moonlight, I believe that illuminates the overworld with a light level of 4. 
uh, everywhere. And so, yeah, somewhere back over here should be like the ocean and the mountain house and stuff like that. And so let's just try going this way and see if we can find our way back. I have that one random bed that I slept in to start this off that then was probably like way away from everything else. Need to keep in mind that I don't have any feather falling, and so fall damage is like the one thing that I could really get beaten by if I'm not careful. But I think I could just run back over here. Um, hmm. Let's try going up here this way. I see a skeleton up there. Hello, shopping cart. Oop! The shopping cart got me. All right, he seems to be stuck over there. Aha, there's the bed. Okay, great. So over here, I'll just go over to this bed so that I can sleep. Uh, and then I'll feel safe enough that I won't have to do it on camera in order to get back home. And then we'll take a look at just how much loot we got. So I will see you guys in a short bit. All right, so we made it back to this mountain house. And yeah, let's count up our total spoils. I'm sure I could do better next time, uh, both if I got off to a smoother start, as well as if I... What am I missing here? Emeralds. There we go. As well as if I was actually using a diamond pick with efficiency rather than iron picks the whole time. Um, oh, and we got a potato one, so I could plant it. I don't have any of those. I don't have any carrots over here. We got potatoes and carrots. But in any case, we got 12 emeralds, 7 diamonds, 36 gold, 6 lapis, and 63 redstone. And so that is pretty cool, just in terms of ores. And then, of course, I've got the fortune pick that I keep in the uh, ender chest. And so we could turn that into a whole lot more resources. And so that's pretty cool. And yes, and now I have potato, potato, potato. I want to eat the potato. But I know the smarter thing to do is not to eat the potato, but instead to plant the potato. And then we will have more potatoes. And eventually I'll get some carrots here and I'll have a little potato and carrot farm going over here as well. That'll be super happy. Oh, and I got three gold. I forgot about that I found in the mine, uh, mine shaft chest. So we got a little bit more gold than that. And so that is super cool. Went through four night vision potions, three speed potions, and a fire resist. And we found those crazy silverfish, which was completely unexpected. I thought this was just going to be, you know, a caving episode for fun, but we actually discovered something new about 1.4. So I guess I have to go read about that. Um, to see if silverfish just spawn in random clumps around the world and how frequent they are. Um, who knows? That'll be interesting to go look up. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know if this will be the last or one of the last before I go on vacation. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys have a great month of November if I don't see you before December. And yes, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys again sooner, if not later. Bye-bye.